Hi, my name is Philip King, and welcome to this tutorial series on writing a WordPress plugin. Since each of the tutorials in this series builds on each other, I recommend you progress through the tutorials in the order they are presented. All the code for these tutorials will be shown in the videos, but obviously you cannot copy the code using cut and paste from a video. So a text version of the code, along with the videos and a PDF version of the series, is available on my website. The link is shown below. In this lesson we'll continue the hoops, actions and filters topic with a simple demonstration filter. This continues the previous lessons where we introduced plugins, built a basic plugin template and created a plugin class. The task for this lesson is to search all your posts and convert specified keywords to hyperlinks. How long do you think this would take you? If you have more than just a few pages, quite a long time I would imagine. The good news? This is an ideal task for a filter. The even better news? The method we'll employ changes the text as it is displayed on the fly, so the underlying data is not modified. In this demonstration, we will write a text-to-hyperlink filter, which will search all posts for the stipulated keywords and convert those keywords to hyperlinks. In our plugin template class, we left placeholders where our plugin's actions and filters could be inserted. So using these placeholders, let's jump straight in and create a simple WordPress filter to demonstrate how easily plugins can be written. In this exercise, we'll change all occurrences of the word WordPress into a capitalized hyperlink in all displayed posts. To do this, the first thing we'll need is a function which will actually do the work. We'll call this function pktext to hyperlink. This function will perform a class insensitive search for every occurrence of the word WordPress. When found, the keyword will be converted to a hyperlink and capitalized. The capitalization is just to make the change very obvious on the screen. In reality, you probably wouldn't change the case. This function could easily be expanded into a very useful plugin by using an array of keywords and hyperlinks. The addition of an admin panel and database would make it a very powerful application. Now that we have our function to do the work, WordPress needs to be hooked into our code. As we are going to filter post content, we simply use the add filter function. The first parameter we need to pass is the WordPress hook or tag. As we are modifying the content of the post, the hook we need is the content hook. The second parameter we need is the name of the function the filter will call. That's the name of our function, pktext to hyperlink. The third parameter is the priority of the interrupt. We'll just give our filter the highest priority, 1, though you may wish to experiment with this in real situations. The default value is 10. With the plugin activated, WordPress will see this add filter interrupt and send the content of the post to the stipulated function, pktext to hyperlink in this case. So the content of every post will now be sent through our function. A search made for the target keywords, and if found, replaced with the hyperlink, before being returned to WordPress for further processing. OK, let's see the code in action. Once again, I'll be using PDT Eclipse as my code editor. The first thing we need is to create a class for our plugin. So copy the PK plugin class template we created previously to a new folder in the WP Content Plugins folder, and give it the name PK Text to hyperlink. Just copy the folder and paste it into the plugins folder with the name pktext to hyperlink. Open the pktext to hyperlink folder, rename the pkplugin class.php file to pktext to hyperlink.php. Remember, the plugin file name has to be the same name as the folder with the PHP extension. And open the file ready for editing. The first thing we need to do is enter a new plugin name and description so that WordPress will recognize the plugin. So give the plugin the name pktext to hyperlink. And a brief description of the plugin. Now we need to create a new class, which we'll call pktext to hyperlink class. This is simply a case of renaming all occurrences of pkplugin template class to pktext to hyperlink class. 
there are six changes to be made. I'm just going to use find and replace for this task. Now we have our plugin class, we need an instance of that class. So change the template instance PK plugin demo to a more appropriate name, PK text to hyperlink demo. Next we need to enter our text to hyperlink function, PK text to hyperlink. This should be placed just after the placeholder comment to do enter action and filter methods here. Next we need to hook our function into WordPress, so enter the add filter hook just after the placeholder comment to do enter plugin actions and filters here. With our code entered, let's save the file and see what happens in WordPress. Log into WordPress as the administrator and navigate to dashboard plugins installed plugins. To check that our plugin has been recognized but is inactive, now view a post containing the target keyword prior to our plugin being activated. You should find our target keyword unchanged, neither capitalized nor a hyperlink. Return to the plugins page and activate our PK Text to Hyperlink plugin. With that done, return to the post page and refresh the page. You will see our keyword, WordPress, has been converted to a hyperlink and capitalized, just as we planned. Try clicking the link to check it's working. That seems to be working fine. Return to our page, return to the plugins page, and deactivate the plugin, ready for the next lesson. With the plugin deactivated, return to the post page, and refresh the page. You should see the post content return to its original form. This is an important point to note. Our plugin does not modify the text permanently. That is, the data in the database is not altered, just the text displayed to the visitor. Hopefully, this tutorial gave you some insight in what you can do when hooking into WordPress filters. We will be expanding on this lesson by adding an admin interface and saving our keywords and replacement text to the database in a later lesson. But for now, that's all for this tutorial on how to write a WordPress plugin. See you in the next lesson.